science is supposed to be predictable. Evidence builds theory, theory guides expectations, and discoveries fall in line. But sometimes nature doesn't care. Sometimes it pulls the rug out from under even the most brilliant minds. And that's what James Webb has done. A Nobel Prize winning physicist recently warned, we might have misunderstood the universe from the very beginning. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye on the cosmos, has revealed things that don't just challenge theories, they break them. Fully formed galaxies too early, massive black holes where there shouldn't be any, structures that shouldn't exist yet, already shining. This isn't just a hiccup in the data, it's a crisis in the model. The Nobel laureate's concern isn't sensationalism. It's rooted in the weight of what Webb is uncovering. Every photon it captures is a message from the past. And these messages tell a very different story. A story where galaxies evolve faster, stars ignite sooner, physics behaves differently. Or worse, our entire timeline of cosmic history is built on misinterpretation. This isn't just about what we see, it's about what we thought we knew. And the deeper Webb looks, the more we're forced to admit, maybe we got the universe all wrong. When a Nobel laureate speaks, the scientific world listens. And when that voice trembles with unease, the rest of us should pay attention. Dr. John Mather, Nobel Prize winning astrophysicist and senior project scientist for the James Webb Space Telescope, recently expressed something rarely heard from the high echelons of science, worry. Not because Webb is failing, but because it's working too well. We're seeing things we didn't expect, Martha explained in interviews and academic forums. Galaxies too big, too evolved, too soon. This isn't just about fast star formation. It's about a timeline collapsing under its own weight. According to the standard model of cosmology, galaxies need hundreds of millions of years to form structure. But Webb's earliest glimpses, just 300 million years post Big Bang, show mature galaxies with complex shapes, rich star clusters, and even supermassive black holes. Dr. Mather's concern isn't alarmist, it's foundational. It challenges the very physics that earned him his Nobel Prize in the first place. And that's why it matters. Because if the building blocks of cosmic theory don't match observation, the theory must bend or break. And James Webb isn't just nudging at the edges, it's rewriting the script. Webb's infrared sensors are peering farther back than ever before. They've uncovered galaxies so ancient, so vast, and so organized that their very existence defies logic. One of the most confounding discoveries? Galaxies that appear to have formed just 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang, yet already contain tens of billions of stars. How is this possible? Galaxies are supposed to form gradually, gas cooling into clouds, clouds collapsing into stars, stars clustering into shapes. The earliest formations should look messy, diffuse, chaotic. But Webb shows symmetry, density, complexity. Some even show evidence of spiral structure. Others contain black holes weighing in at a billion solar masses at a time when stars themselves should have just begun to shine. If these galaxies are as old as they appear, our cosmic calendar is wrong. If they're younger, our instruments are flawed. But Webb was built to avoid those flaws. Its sensitivity, resolution and spectrum reach are unmatched. Which leaves us with a chilling third option. Something about our understanding of cosmic evolution is deeply flawed. The foundations of time, formation and structure might need to be torn down and rebuilt from scratch. For decades, cosmic inflation, the idea that the universe expanded faster than the speed of light in its first split second, has been the cornerstone of Big Bang theory. 
It explained the smoothness of the universe, its uniformity, its geometry. But Webb's revelations are opening cracks in that elegant model. If galaxies formed earlier than inflation predicts, then perhaps inflation didn't behave as expected. Maybe it was uneven. Maybe it ended too soon. Or maybe, most radically, it never happened at all. Some theorists now entertain alternative ideas. A bouncing universe where contraction preceded expansion. Or emergent models where time and space slowly unfurl from a quantum foam. Others suggest an asymmetrical beginning. A universe born not in perfect balance, but in turbulent chaos. A universe with scars, anisotropies, bursts of energy we haven't yet accounted for. These are no longer fringe theories. They're gaining traction because Webb demands it. The telescope is forcing cosmologists to reconcile data with imagination. And that might be the biggest shift of all. From confirming theories to confronting anomalies. From explaining everything to admitting we barely understand anything. Webb's greatest strength is its mastery of light. The oldest light stretched across space and time into the infrared spectrum. And that light? It's not playing by the rules. Some galaxies shine brighter than physics allows. Starburst regions, where stars are forming at furious rates, are appearing far too early. In one case, a galaxy just 300 million years after the Big Bang showed signs of metal-rich stars. But where did those metals come from? Metals in space are formed through stellar death supernovae that spew heavy elements into the cosmos. That takes time, yet here they are, already present. This suggests a prior generation of stars, but that would mean stars formed even earlier, pushing cosmic history further back, again. Then there's the issue of brightness. Some galaxies are emitting more light than their mass accounts for. Could it be gravitational lensing? Unlikely in many cases, could it be exotic physics? Maybe. Or could we be seeing echoes of another universe bleeding into ours? As improbable as that sounds, Webb's data is whispering something radical. Light isn't lying. It's just telling a story we don't yet understand. And that story is unraveling the clean lines of our cosmic map. What if the James Webb Space Telescope isn't just showing us early galaxies, it's showing us early rules? Physics may not have been constant, gravity may have acted faster, particles may have moved differently, forces may have evolved. We assume the laws of nature are fixed. But what if they grew with the universe? What if early gravity was stronger? What if dark matter clumped faster? What if unknown particles influenced structure before we ever had atoms? This isn't science fiction. It's serious speculation among top physicists. Because right now, our laws can't explain what Webb sees. And if the laws don't fit the data, we must choose, bend the data, or rewrite the laws. History tells us the answer. From Newton to Einstein, from classical mechanics to quantum theory, every leap came from confronting the impossible. Now it's happening again. James Webb is the messenger, but the message may be the most humbling in scientific history. We still don't understand the universe we live in. This isn't the end of cosmology. It's the start of its next chapter. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to challenge assumptions, to expand the edge of the known, and it's doing exactly that. Scientists now face a choice, cling to the old models or forge new ones, not in fear, but in awe, not in desperation, but in curiosity. The universe has always been vast, mysterious, and untamed. What's changing is our willingness to admit how little we know. A Nobel laureate sounded the alarm, not because science is failing, but because it's working, it's evolving. And with each galaxy Webb discovers, we're reminded 
We are not masters of the cosmos. We are its students, and class has just begun.